I really enjoy doing. And through uh, because of that, I've also changed my life. So I basically live as holistically as possible. So that means that uh, we do everything as much as we can at home. So from cooking to uh, making beauty treatments to uh, uh, natural remedies to uh, help uh, heal my kids and so on and so forth. So uh, I really believe that natural living is the way to go. And uh, along the years, like uh, when I was a small child, I would always see my mom. Uh, I think all moms like jewelry, or most moms, but my mom really liked jewelry. <laughs> so she would have all kinds of stones. Um, I mean, she liked diamonds too, but she would buy a lot of different stones. And I was always mesmerized to see the different color stones and why, why did she feel attracted to them. And you know, I was curious to know more about it. So I'm not really a professional gemologist, but I have researched thoroughly the energetic properties of stones. So what does that mean? So that stones actually have an effect on you. They can uh, help you to change your life in certain ways. If you have an illness or some kind of ailment or pain, they can help you with that as well. Um, and even emotionally. So if you're a hot-tempered person, you get angry often, maybe a stone can help you with that. And um, even if you find that you're not a very focused person, then there's maybe a stone for that as well. So I found that fascinating. So a few years ago, uh, maybe five, six years ago, I developed a jewelry line, a holistic jewelry line that works on, um, basically, I create custom-made pieces for you based on what's happening in your life with stones, symbols, uh, colors, uh, numbers, so on and so forth, so that it can help to um, get you to where you need to go. And I'll explain how that works now. Also, I have a wellness blog and YouTube channel, so check me out. Uh, it's called Inner Beauty Buzz, and I do videos with my children as well. It's about natural living and how to be beautiful from the inside out. So uh, in this part of the world, we tend to focus on the outer beauty. But I believe that real beauty comes from the inside, and uh, I like to uh, show people how that's possible. It's very easy to do that, and to love yourself, and to take care of yourself as naturally as possible. So that's innerbeautybuzz.com. So what is a gemstone? Well, I think a lot of us kind of know what it is, but just to take you through the basics. So um, it's a non-organic material, and it develops over millions of years. The color comes from the mineral content, and we classify it based on the, the structure of the stone. So uh, a lot of us know many different uh, stones. Uh, they come in all color shapes and sizes. A lot of us are very familiar with diamonds, and we'll talk about diamonds a little bit later. So why so valuable? Well, um, I believe that somehow inherently humans understand that stones have properties that can help them in some way. So whether it's a spiritual understanding or an energetic understanding or just to make things look more beautiful, uh, we have been using stones across time. So in all civilizations, if you study them, like from ancient Egypt and even in the holy books, they talk about special stones uh, that were used or uh, given to the prophets. Uh, so stones um, have been uh, an in uh, integral part of our lives for a very long time. So everything is energy. What do we mean by energy? What's energy? Any scientists here? No? Okay, it's very basic, but if we were to explain what energy is, what, what, how would you explain it to someone? Like my, my daughter asked me millions of questions now, she's four. So everything is why, and why, and what, and why. So <laughs> now you tell me, what is energy? Any questions, um, any ideas? Just throw it out there, let's be interactive. I think, yeah. I think the energy that the people become more positive and uh, working harder. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's one way to understand it. How can we understand it scientifically? So, what what would we um, what would Albert Einstein say about energy? How would he explain it? <laughs> Any guesses? Okay. So, what what is that about? Yeah, matter. <laughs> matter. So matter is basically uh, what? What is at, or at matter? I'm, I'm, I'm explaining this for a reason, not to <laughs> boggle your minds any, but like, I want you to understand why stones work the way they do. So energy is basically atoms, electrons, protons, like the smallest um, 
uh, elements that make the world, the universe. That's what is the, the fabric of all creation, right? So, what makes us different than, let's say, we have this chair here, and then we have a cup of water, and then we have the air in between us? It's the vibration of the molecules, of the atoms, right? So the chair is vibrating at a much slower rate, then we have the water, it's, it's a little higher vibration, and then we have the vapor, which is even very, very, very fast, so that's why it's vapor. So we're vibrating at different frequencies. Also humans vibrate at a frequency. So uh, who knows anybody who's uh, sad all the time or depressed all the time? Do you know anybody? You know? A lot of them, right? So how do you feel when you're around a person who's depressed all the time, who's complaining and nagging, and this is not good enough, and why is this happening to me, and I don't like this person, blah, 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 blah. How does it make you feel? Exactly. And you don't want to be around them, right? Okay. On the flip side, if you have somebody who's so happy and excited about life and they want to explore and discover and everything is beautiful and they're happy and they laugh a lot and they tell you really funny jokes, you want to be around them, right? No? <laughs> also no? <laughs> so I need to know who you want to be around. <laughs> That's good too. <laughs> Anyway, the point is that we are attracted to high vibration. And when you're happy and have positive emotion, it's a high vibration, a high frequency. So now stones operate on a similar level. So stones have a frequency, and these frequencies can help us to change our vibration into something, let's say, better. Um, so I'll give you some examples so you understand what I mean. So just to explain the whole idea of how stones have been used across time. So we have the scarab here is actually from uh, the Tutankhamun in ancient Egypt. This is something that was built for his uh, tomb, I believe. Uh, so they have lapis lazuli here. There's turquoise. There's also carnelian. Lapis lazuli for the Egyptians was something very, very special. They considered it to be a, a very sacred stone, and they used it a lot in the um, more of the royal um, tombs and headdresses and all of that. So lapis lazuli is also, till now, is a special stone, but we'll talk about that more later. And then you have crowns. So we know the typical gemstones that the royals wear. So they also have a very high vibration. They're so attractive, and we pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dirham and dollars and whatever currency. Uh, so diamonds, rubies, emeralds, uh, sapphires. And you see the famous sapphire from Princess Diana here. That, that ring has been copied I don't know how many <laughs> millions of times. It's a very special piece. Okay, so how do we figure out which stone is right for us? So. <clears throat> Uh, I do it in a special way. Uh, there are, uh, in, in certain cultures, there are like astrologers, Vedic like astrologers that will take your birthday and the time that you were born and all of this and then tell you the stone that you require. For me, I do it a little differently. I think that way is great too, but based on my experience as a holistic professional, I base it on uh, color and how the color relates to your life. And I'll tell you more about that with the chakras. So basically, it can help you um, in any way. So if it's a physical issue, emotional, any kind of current life situation, um, anything. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain how that works through the chakras. So anybody know what a chakra is? You do? OK, can you tell me? Or can you tell us? No? OK. Anybody else? Just throw out ideas. Don't be shy. Yes, exactly. It's the energy centers of the human body. And there are seven major ones, and there's lots of smaller ones. Uh, but I focus on the major ones. So what does that mean? So let's say if um, you were just to break down the body. So the base of the spine is the first chakra, that's the base chakra. Um, and it goes all the way up to the top of your head. Um, and these chakras actually can be blocked at times, can be imbalanced at times, and they're directly related to emotions and thoughts and areas of your life. So let's say, uh, let's take the, uh, 
solar plexus chakra, which is around the digestive system, the stomach area. So let's say if you're worried a lot, if you're uh, scared, you're anxious, you have a lot of guilt, um, you like to control, you like to have a plan all the time, and if it doesn't go according to plan, you're very, very stressed out, um, you probably have some kind of block on the uh, stomach area. You might have even digestive problems. So that means that uh, you have uh, uh, what is it called? A reflux or you know, just general problems with the, the stomach area. Uh, so that means there's an imbalance on the solar plexus chakra level and uh, if you were to come to me I would advise that you would wear a stone that would help you with that. So that would be something yellow. So maybe like a yellow topaz or even um, shades of uh, sapphire. There's yellow sapphires as well. Um, and depending on what other else you're going through, I would advise you accordingly. But I, I usually work off the color, just to give you an example. And I'll tell you more about other stones and how it relates to your life in a second. So how does it work? So um, I'm not saying that that's a magic solution. I'm saying that they can guide you and it helps to shift your frequency, your vibration, uh, to get to that place where you want to be in. So it sort of opens up the thoughts, open up the mind, so you can get to that, um, that better place. Uh, and it, it can vary in time. So maybe you start to wear the stone and then you start realizing things are just falling into place. It's amazing. I'm getting this uh, job I've always wanted and the money is just coming in and that my family, we're all good in the relationships, everything. So <clears throat> you can notice it might take a little more time, but patience is also required. And also just the awareness of, your, of yourself uh, that we are responsible for all of our own issues and that we can't blame it on anything or anyone else. So that awareness needs to be there as well and I can tell you more about that um, privately if you'd like um, so also what's interesting you can have them in your home I actually have lots of different stones in my home to help me clear energies to keep it uh, flowing to invite um, abundance to invite uh, peace and uh, uh, unity and comfort in my home uh, I have uh, amethyst as well uh, amethyst is the purple stone that's really good to help you sleep, to help you relax at night. It actually emits infrared energy to uh, help you relax and get you into the alpha brainwave state. Uh, state. So that's a good one to have if you find it very difficult to relax at night. Or even um, if you just feel your, your home is a very tense place, then you can place it around the house. It will help to kind of uh, calm things down and to make it more inviting. So that's a good stone to use. I have a picture of a baby with an amber bead necklace because um, this is something that I've been through for the past four years. So I have three kids and all of them, um, I don't know if any of you are parents, but uh, kids go through teething, babies teething, which is, can be a big deal for a lot of parents because there's crying, there's pain, there's other symptoms that come along with it. Um, amber actually helps to relieve pain. So if you wear the amber um, necklace around your neck, it helps the baby to uh, feel less pain and to go through the teething process in a much more gentle way. So uh, from my experience, it was very smooth. I still have a one and a half year old. She's still teething, but honestly, we haven't gone through anything major. So um, I can recommend that if you have any babies. Uh, what else can I tell you? Okay, some examples. So rose quartz. Rose quartz is a beautiful stone. It's pink. It's a pink color, and uh, it's really good to help to um, help you out with forgiveness. So we have a lot of things that we've gone through in the past. So that means well, somebody has hurt us, somebody's let us down, or maybe any kind of disappointment. So it helps uh, the forgiveness process. It also helps you with your emotions. If you're going through a difficult emotional time, uh, it will help you through uh, grieving or loss. It'll help to balance you and just help you to uh, smoothly go through that process. Um, it's also a very nurturing stone. So it brings in a lot of love, unconditional love. So it's a very beautiful stone, rose quartz. Uh, amethyst, I told you about amethyst already. So that's great for, to help you relax and to sleep. Uh, diamonds, now diamonds are great. Um, I know you see lots of them here and it's, uh, diamonds have been escalated to be this incredibly uh, amazing, uh, very expensive stone, um, which, I mean, I like diamonds too, but I think there's lots of other beautiful stones as well. 
but you have to be kind of careful with diamonds. Now, diamonds amplify your energy. So depending on your state, your mood, your vibration, your thoughts, you may be amplifying something really positive or you may be amplifying something that's not so positive. So uh, you need to be careful with the diamonds, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So it doesn't mean that, you know, be scared. I don't, I'm not about fear by any means. It just means to be aware that, um, you know, maybe there's a better stone to wear. <laughs> you don't have to pay all that money for that. Go find a nicer stone. Um, smoky quartz. Uh, so for people who are not focused, they find they lose things all the time and they don't know what's going on, they don't know what time it is, uh, they're always waking up late and uh, scattered and unorganized and everything's a mess. Smoky quartz is great for you. So it's like a, it's a quartz but it's like a brownish color, it's brown. It's also a nice, a really nice stone. Uh, and turquoise, is anyone familiar with turquoise? It's like a aqua blue stone. It's really beautiful, actually. And um, for those of you who are familiar with the Native Americans, so in the USA, before it became what we know it, there was the Native Americans. And they really were um, very much uh, uh, connected to the turquoise stone because it actually contains copper. Copper helps to uh, remove illness from the body and to transform negative energy. So turquoise is really cool and also it's good just to uh, open up communication, to uh, help you understand who you are, uh, to know how to speak up, be confident, believe in yourself. So it's actually a really, really amazing stone. So turquoise is a good one as well. Uh, I want to just do a little uh, interaction. Uh, you can test out some stones and tell me what you think. So I, I'm gonna, anyone want to volunteer? You, you can just hold a stone in your hand and you just let me know what's coming to your mind. I want you to feel the energy of the stone. So don't be shy. Like, what? <laughs> okay, one of you, would you like to do it or no? I'm gonna choose more than one, so please don't all raise your hands. <laughs> you can sit if you want, if you don't wanna stand up. Okay, so can you close your eyes for me? Yeah, and then give me your hand. <laughs> okay, close your hand. And uh, I want you just to, the first thoughts that come into your mind, just, so just connect with the stone and let me know what's coming into your mind first thing. You don't have to analyze it, just first thing and your mind. Okay. Father. Success. Happiness. That's it. Okay. Cool, thank you. You can open your hand. So I actually gave her a clear quartz crystal. So clear quartz is uh, also another amazing stone, uh, but it uh, it is a it's a universal stone. It also amplifies a lot of uh, energy. So it, maybe I should wait a second. I don't know if you can hear me <laughs> uh, making an announcement. Anyway, I'll get you to start on the second stone in the meantime. So if you can close your eyes for me again and just close your hand and connect with the stone. Whenever you're ready. Do take your last Yeah. Family. Thank you. Sadness. Cool. Interesting. So um, this is Moldavite, and this is a very rare stone, and this is actually extraterrestrial meaning that this uh, stone was formed uh, when a meteorite hit the Earth many, many years ago. And uh, this material is actually uh, not found in any other stone on Earth. So it's, it's, it's considered extraterrestrial, which is pretty cool. So either people really like this stone or they really don't like it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, you were here the other day, yeah. So everyone will get something different, but I'll just choose someone else and you can, there's one more stone that I would like to. Would you be interested? <laughs> okay, so if you just close your eyes, just connect with the stone and see first thoughts coming into your mind. Kind of nervousness is coming. <laughs> In the 
testing. Okay. I actually gave him a court, um, rose quartz. So the last thing he said was the nice feeling. Maybe you're picking up on your own emotions as well. But this is the rose quartz I was talking about that's usually connected with a lot of love, unconditional love. The first one that I was, uh, I gave to this beautiful lady here. <laughs> It was a, a clear quartz crystal, and you probably couldn't hear me because of the, the uh, uh, whatever the announcement. Uh, but this is a, a universal stone, and it sort of can uh, function and transform in many ways, whatever you need it to be, which is really cool. I actually wear one here, so it amplifies any other stone that you wear. So I have my Moldavite here. Moldavite, by the way, is a, a very powerful stone and it helps to accelerate your life journey. So if you're going some, through some really tough times, it's gonna get really, really, really bad, but you're gonna get over it really fast and vice versa. So uh, it sort of accelerates things, which uh, you need to be kind of spiritually ready for. Um, so yeah, these are just, so you can connect with your stones. Like uh, when I choose a stone, I connect with it. I see if I'm is this something for me or not. Um, and it has an energy, so you can actually feel that. You can get to know that energy. It's pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> so any questions so far? No. Okay. So I'm actually going to be doing some uh, complimentary consultations right over here in the VIP area. And what I'm going to do is sit with you, I'll ask you some questions, and uh, you can find out which stone is right for you. Uh, I have bracelets and a few other stones that you can check out as well, so um, if you have any specific concern, any uh, physical ailment, any life issue you would like to help, help with, I can do, help you with that. Um, and I'm also uh, a therapist, so uh, I know how to get to the, the core of the issue. <laughs> so I'll help you from the deepest level and um, get you on the right track. And uh, what else do I want to tell you? Yes. Any other questions? Interesting, not interesting. <laughs> so I always, whenever I talk to people about this subject, their eyes just like kind of pop out. You know, it's something <laughs> very interesting for a lot of people. And um, thank you for taking your time to come and listen to me today. And uh, feel free, if you'd like to come see me, there will be a list there. Um, my uh, beautiful friend Sonia will be helping me with that. And then uh, we're good to go. So thank you so much. And I'm here tomorrow as well from 5 p.m. onwards. All right, thank you.